There we go. You're live, it says. <laughs> Turn on the torch, light up the flame. Time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Thank you for being out there. And as you can see, I'm uh, again two days in a row. Don't don't go getting uh, don't go having a heart attack over it. <laughs> but I'm going to see what I can do and. Um, and I'm going to actually get into a live chat room here. That might help. That way, if you guys have something to say to me, I can actually see it and or hear it. Right? Right. Okay, I've got to... Might have to go to the live... I don't know. How, how do I do that? That's going to be interesting. Let's do this. Maybe that's how I can get in there. But that might not be it either. Oh, there I am, live now. Wait a minute, back up, back up. Saw it, didn't see it fast enough. Darn. <laughs> Come on. Let's go back. There we are, live now. And, ah. There we are, and it shows I have a live room going on. So that's the cool thing. And uh, we shall see who shows up and what goes on. That's all I can do. And I will try to keep my eye on if somebody has something in the chat room to say. And at the moment, I am just sitting down. Actually, I have to go out and turn on the, the gas so that I can melt some glass. So I can do some glass blowing. Hold on. We shall see. Good to see people out there. Well, actually, I don't know. Ah, that's the hard part. Maybe I should do that. Uh, yeah, maybe. Let's do that. Good that enough. might not be it either. Yeah, I'm coming back and sitting down now, and I hear the burp, and now uh, I guess I hear, there is a little bit of a delay, but at least you can uh, hear me quite nice. Shows that one person is watching. That's a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and pause that, and if I see more people watching and or see people type in the chat room, that'll be a good thing. Um, I have not... And I, well, I, I have an idea that I'm going to sit down here and melt some glass. But if you have a request or something that you'd like to see me make, uh, that's what I'm good at. I try to uh, accommodate really quick. I wouldn't say painless, but pretty quick. Then you know what I mean. We're going to add these two together. Why not? And as you can see, I don't really have didymium glasses on, but I have a didymium lens over here on top of this thing. So it's not like it's uh, going to be a problem because I do take care of my eyes. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, wow. Let's try this again. There we go. Well, that's a fire. Again, just type in the chat room and say hi and... Ask me to re do a request and I will see about making it fairly quickly. Fairly quickly. <laughs> but until then, I'll just do a couple of things that I had to get done. And I'm actually going to try to, uh, I might have to start up the Arvin too very shortly. Because I've got some marbles and stuff that need to be done. So we shall see.
Okay, got to get this sort of sealed in together. I see it. these are two blue, moon blue pieces of rod that I did earlier and finished using that one up yesterday or using it on a, a, a bead that I did yesterday. So I didn't need to finish. It was getting short and why not put it to glass as already aware, aware of. Hi, Athena. Long time no see. Yeah, I'm back in the business. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try to start doing more live shows. I've been doing live shows on Twitch, but I'm finally now getting over and doing the... Uh, uh, finally doing some live shows on YouTube as well. I may as well, you know, diversify. Getting known in both places is what I guess you could say. I did uh, been doing figurines and, and, and just like I do on the live shows here, I do requests of whatever somebody wants to see me make and I do that and uh, move to a new shed if you can't tell it, that it looks a little bit more spacious and a little bit brighter. Well, maybe you can't tell it's brighter, but I can. Um, it's, it's a lot, it's a, about... Uh, 10 feet from my back door compared to 40 feet to 50 feet from my back door before. So that's just that story and I'm sticking to it. Now, let's put these two short ones together. Tap that one off there. Making the short ones longer. You know me. Take things down to the nub. Do you have a request that you'd like to see me make tonight, Athena? Just ask. Oh, that's going to be an icicle. Looks cruddy enough. Melt it up a little bit. Smash it up a little bit. Making icicles all year long. Hey, Brandon. Glad to see you're here, too. I will be going live on uh, Twitch a little later on, but I thought I'd go to one and then go to the other. I mean, give them, give them both my uh, attention to detail since I've got so much established on YouTube at the moment. Eventually, Twitch will be there, but hey, I need every penny I can get. Right? Right. And I will start showing uh, videos that I've done on Twitch over here as well, so don't... Uh, get confused if you see some and here I am saying there's nobody in the audience or whatever but I'm still looking at things you love to watch well I love <laughs> I love an audience so we're, we're good together there Athena <laughs> okay put these two short ones together and then I will go ahead and make something Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll do some more hollow tubing. I was working on a couple of them yesterday, and I want to do another sea turtle. Um, so it'll be a little bit added to it, I guess. I did a sea turtle bead, and uh, I've, got a, I've got a couple of them that I've done, but um, did that on Twitch last night. Haven't really taken them out. Of, I haven't really cooked them in the oven yet but I could take them out and show them to you after a little bit but let me finish this but yeah I've got a new shed that I'm working out of which uh, is going to be a, uh, a little bit better because in the other shed it was all storage and my glass blowing and 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 stuff as well but in here it's going to be mainly for glass blowing and that way and the other one can be for glass blowing storage and 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 over there so a little bit less clutter over here and more chance to uh, feel comfortable and I've got a nice wide open door I mean it's uh, at least a five foot wide door or maybe six foot wide door uh, barn size shed 12 10 by 12 that I'm working out of do you ever make flowers from hollow um, yes, I did one the other day, uh, but it was actually I'll do another one because why not make another hummingbird and flower? And it's basically a, a hollow piece of tubing 
that I flare out and make a flower out of, or if you're talking about, well, the same idea, I think, isn't it? Wouldn't you say so? Oh, when you're looking for something that's never around. Tubing, there it is, stupid me, right in front of my face. Yeah. I take hollow tubing and make uh, flowers for my hummingbirds. I'll show you. And this flower I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, fume with silver as well. Why? Because I can. And then I'll uh, do the uh, hummingbird in some different colors as well. First I do a flare out like this. And that's going to be the inner part of the flower itself. There you go. And then you add the petals. Whoa, that was stupid. I just about reached right where I made that last seal. Right in the middle of that rod. Stupid me. Luckily it was off center and it didn't burn me. It just felt real warm. So I'm good. Yeah, I didn't have to go. <laughs> and say, I got a boo boo. Yeah. You'll learn. Okay. Happens all the time. Okay, here we go. This is one of the petals. And it's basically my, like my wings that I make. Back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and do all five of them and then get them a little bit more flared and a little bit more pretty. Just to make sure I got room for the five. Usually do have room for five, but better to make sure. Make sure that one's not bigger than the other or whatever. I'll do another flower as well. After I do the hummingbird, of course. Shows three people are watching. Thanks for being out there, guys. I do appreciate it. Does make my uh, my enlightenment or my uh, flame work better for me, I guess. I can't explain it, but it does do the job. Scoot out a little bit. Oh yeah, this is even interesting. So, wait a minute, gotta check something. Let's see if you guys can be, see oh yeah, you can see me okay. I'm in that shot. I gotta do this, let's see if I can do this. There we go. There we go. Now I got it. I think I do. Ow. <laughs> if I knew what I was doing, I'd be dangerous. And I'm definitely not dangerous. There. Now I can see whether... Uh, make sure that you're seeing what I'm doing on the screen. And also, uh, for some dumb reason, it wasn't... I haven't figured out how to... Show up the live video so I have to even tone it down so I can't hear it while I'm working. So all I see is what you guys write in the uh, what you write in the chat room. So we'll have to live with that. Okay, one more. Oops. No. Ah, stress. Playing too much instead of working. Or trying to get things to work instead of playing. Whatever. Never mind. <laughs> Still making sure I've got room for everything. And I do. So this is going to be good. And...
Fold it out. Now we'll flare it out because I know I've got all of them on there now. There's that one. Now let's do this one again. Just a little bit more. This makes a good flower for a hummingbird. It's like a bipedal type flower. You add uh, pink to it by fuming it with gold. And, but tonight I'm going to just add some silver to it. So it's going to come out looking gold. If and you know what I mean. And that's my story and I'm sticking to that too. Interesting. Three people watching, that's good. Just making sure. If I knew what I was doing, I'd be dangerous. There we go. Now I'm going to... Well, this one too. This one just a little bit more. That last two. Now just fix this all up. Fume it out a little bit. Tweezer it a little bit. See what we're looking at? Have you ever tried roses? Derek, uh, Brandon? I'll show you a nice rose after I do the hummingbird. And this is uh, what I call my tight bud rose, which works out really, really well. You know, most people do it petal for petal for petal, but the way I do it, it uh, comes out really, really nice just as a tight bud. Who knew, right? I did. I, I, that's why I'm telling you. Well, I try. Are you still with us, Athena? And whoever else is just sort of lurking, that's cool too. <laughs> now, uh, the next thing I'm going to add to this stuff is a little bit of fume. I'm going to tuft these a little bit. Each one bring out the, the center slightly. There's one. There's two. I feel like count the count from says one, two, three. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay just a little bit more to go on this flower and then I'll do the hummingbird and then I'll do the actually yeah well you can do it one of six ways right Now you can do these petals many a different way. I mean, you can flatten each petal out and then just add them to that middle flare out uh, individually. Um, I just added it as I went just because I could. But uh, to make sure they're more even and looking, you know, pretty cool, you can take your time and uh, do it upright. Now here is some silver. And let's see what we can make this thing look like. Just by adding a little bit of pretty. And 
There we go. There we go. Nice, nicely, lightly gold fumed, basically. And then I just um, pull out the middle here. And that is a hummingbird flower. Something to dip the nose into for the hummingbird. It just chews a toot, you know. Figure out which one you want to make the bottom. Yeah, here we go. Figured it out. There we go. That's going to be the flower, top and bottom, so on and so forth. Now, hummingbird. I will do the hummingbird with blue trim. Since I have the blue that I was using earlier, just uh, first you make the teardrop. Actually, you got to round in the ball first before you make the teardrop. That's cool enough now. This should only take about three or four minutes and I'll get right into a rose. Tilt it out slightly. Here's the head to the hummingbird. Now I'm going to do the wings. The wings are basically my fold and pull that I do really well. Make sure you're heating it up to the spot that you're going to put the glass, as well as just not just stick the glass on there. Oh, the head is sort of slumping, but I think I can still save it without screwing it up too much. There's one wing. Now the other wing. There we go. Now the other wing. I know I make it look easy. 
but I've been doing it for a few years, okay? Don't get frustrated with how I can just make it flow sometimes because I still get frustrated from time to time too for what I'm trying to do sometimes. So it's just that I've done this so many times I could practically do it in my sleep. Right? Right. <laughs> now, the nose to this thing. And I'll do the tail and then get right into a rose. I'm going to tilt the head down slightly. Got to heat it up right at the neck. There you go. Let's try this. I have these available and I rarely use them, but I need to start trying to use them more available. Or use them so I don't have to do another cold weld or a cold seal on it things. See if this works. Nah, it's not going to be as, as... Let's try a little bit further in. There we go. There we go. The tail comes out. This is a nice little apparatus to get. They're about 20 bucks, most places that I've seen. It's just a, uh, 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 a tube gripper or whatever. I don't know what the name of it is, but it, it does the job quite nicely. Hi, Stephen. Nice to see you. I am reading. It takes me a little while. Sorry I didn't see it until now. I've been engrossed in doing a hummingbird at the moment, but uh, I try to... Tell people I, I'm, I, I'm aware that they're there, as it were. Fold it over a couple more times. Bring out the tail slightly. There we are. Now... And then, and then, and then, and then, let's see if this works. Tweezers, hold on to it, and put it to the mix. Ta-da! Let you see. Oh, girl. Yeah, this one's cool enough I can hold on to it now. All right, Grace, well, don't let it drop on me. Or should I go, hmm? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Melissa, just started working with glass. I have no idea where to start. Just have a bunch of tube and broken rods now. What type of, do you have a, 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 a like a hothead type torch or do you have an oxygen uh, propane type torch like I'm using here? That's the question, Melissa. Can you do hourglass? An hourglass. Mm, I couldn't do it justice. I could do a time, uh, something that sand could flow through, as it were, but to make it look exactly like an hourglass. Um, that's a different story. So, but um, I could work on it if you're interested, truly. Just propane and some, sometimes propane oxygen. Uh, next question. Do you have eye protection? Some didymium lenses or uh, glasses to wear while you're working? Uh, that is very most important. I know it doesn't look like I've got glasses on, but I have a didymium lens between me on the, this uh, heat shield and the flame that I'm looking at. So I'm looking at it through protection, believe me. It's important to me. And to you. You want to keep your eyesight. Next slide. Maybe next. 
truly. Okay, I will definitely look into it for you then. Uh, okay, now the rose. Roses are really, really cool. Actually, I've got some leaf presses that I can use, but I'm not going to. No, I do that. That's too sample. Because I like what I've been coming up with the, with the leaves uh, just through making it itself, like so. It's not going to be a very big leaf, but it's going to be a leaf. These are the le these are going to be the leaves to the uh, to the rose, not the the petals to the rose. Okay. If and you're wondering, I don't need to make it too big, just enough. There's one leaf. Probably pinch it down a little bit too before I put it on there. There we go. There's one leaf. Thanks, Jody. Yes. Uh, please wear eye protection. Uh, you can get some on eBay. You can get them. Uh, they run a, close to about 100 for a good pair. Um, I actually, one of the things that I've done here is I create a pair, um, but they're off eBay, they're just the lenses, like I've clipped this lens to my heat shield in front of me, and they're like $32 ship, but that's just the lenses, it's not the frames, but you could probably go to a uh, eyeglass place and get some frames for like 10 to 15 bucks so that it would fit them, it's just a matter of asking them to, to fit them into something for you, you know what I mean? just something to wear your eyes are very important it, it's worth I've been doing this for well since 1982 so that tells you how long I've been trying to keep my eyes safe actually about four to six months after I started is when I realized I needed to uh, get some glasses but they didn't have the internet then back there in 82 so I uh, yes if you are using uh, if you do not have an oven and you want to save more of your work the best thing to do is to use vermiculite thanks for the question um, vermiculite is basically a material that uh, it's an insulator you, you, you can put hot glass into it not molten molten glass but you can put hot glass into it and it cools down slower and even I would suggest that you use a crock pot to warm well especially if you're doing soft glass if you're using boro it's not as important but uh, soft glass you definitely should use a crock pot the slower that soft glass cools down the better off you are okay but yeah uh, that's the way I start actually I started with just soda bottles and a propane blowtorch so I, I know where you're coming from there Jody know where you're coming from okay this is actually let me make it just a little bit bigger than what I'm thinking about right now I'm working on the bud to the rose right now uh, doing three things at once of course that's the way I work things <laughs> there we go and that right there is a rose can't you see that? That's a rose. Can't you? See? You can't see that that's a rose? Oh, where's your imagination? I know some people. You gotta, you gotta sort of nudge them in the right direction at first. All I'm gonna do is pinch these things in the middle here, just a little bit, just a couple of ridges. I got this idea from doing my snails. 
Now you heat up the heat up that top there and touch and twist. Let it cool a little bit. Cool a little bit. Bend it back and forth, and that should break off. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's a nice tight swirl bud there and then you just add a, sort of a few leaves on the outside edge and you got your nice tight bud rows. Well one of the first projects that I tell people about is doing like little things round balls um, uh, sea turtle uh, uh, no a land turtle is one of the very first things that I try to teach when I do my lessons to people and yes I do give lessons if you pay me enough I'll even come to your, your doorstep <laughs> but that's another story entirely Athena are you still there you're in Las Vegas aren't you area or Nevada I that's what I thought I could be wrong The reason I ask is uh, I was there in February at, at what they call Glass Vegas. That was a lot of fun. Um, uh, in the bottom, after the show is done and I do the, the, the re revamp, I will try to put the URL for like the land turtle. And uh, things like that so that you can try doing those as well but the idea is to do at first the smaller the better you don't really need to make big big huge things because the bigger it is the more chance you are to cracking it so I would work with something less than a dime size or even you know a thumbnail size or fingernail size don't go any larger making any figurines for that time that will uh, help you to alleviate some stress and then you can le learn to make things bigger later if you know what I mean it's easier to make a cake a cupcake compared to a cupcake is what I'm getting at there uh, Jody but yeah in the URL I will put on a, a, a the, the video link to like the land turtle that I'm talking about and I have done those actually with blow um, with a blowtorch. I, I did some videos uh, making from a sparkling wine bottle. I took a sparkling wine bottle and melted down some uh, some uh, some and made some figurines out of just a glass sparkling wine bottle, sparkling wine uh, sparkling grape juice bottle. Excuse me, it wasn't wine. It was sparkling grape juice. I am more of a, I have more of a Mormon background, but that's okay. Okay, now we're going to do the stem to this rose. And I'm going to fume it with silver, so it's going to come out like a gold rose, but it's going to still look nice. Maybe I should have put the leaves on first, but we'll get there. Mm, there we go. Tap that off. Fire polish. Stay. Keep it warm. Here's a little trick you guys can learn. Heat up this and touch it to the point of the leaf that you made. And heat it in. Oh, the leaf broke up. Darn. I, I, I saved it. I'm good at that. I try to show you without, if I have an accident, how to try to save it from the accident. I don't believe in telling you that, you know, life is perfect all the time. Yeah, right. What dream world did you come from? And how come I can't smoke any of that? <laughs> oh yeah, it's illegal in North Carolina. <laughs> there we 
we go. The other leaf. And there. Easy. Gravity works. You got to make sure you're spinning it just right. And now to fume. Let's get some fuming going on. Whole lot of fuming going on. Let's try this. Make this thing silver fumed. Oh yeah. This is sweet. Love your videos, Lou. Thanks, Gideon. Gideon. Um, yeah, that's a that's a good uh, eyeball pendant video. Um, I like that one, and I need to do some more. Uh, I I uh, late, lately I've only only in the last I'd say the last two or three weeks have I really been trying to get back into doing a lot of videos. In the past uh, six months, uh, I've done very little. I have to admit. But I'm going to get back, especially doing these live shows like you see me doing right now. So it is important to me. I love doing glass blowing and sharing. There we go. Let's see if that's going to work. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Leans down. Nice, pretty rose. Mother's Day is coming up, guys. I can make heart pendants. I can do a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll do one more thing, and then I'm going to call it quits for tonight on this show. But I will, uh, again, try to put the URLs in, in the thing for you. If anybody's got a request that you'd like to see me make, a cat, a mouse, a swan, a bear, a whale, a snail, a unicorn, a dolphin, a heart pendant, um, uh, anything like that, I will gladly make happen. Oh, might help if I drank a little bit. Smooth. Real smooth. <laughs> okay, where was that that I was looking at the other day? I'm going to make a die crow hard if nobody comes up with anything else. What do I do with it? Come on. Snake it a bit, you. Oh, maybe it's down here. Oh. About to swing and sit, sit in a chair that wasn't there anymore. Right? Right. That wouldn't be good. Uh, never around when you want some. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Where is it? Nope. First time on your channel. Thanks. Janiah, Jenna, how do you say that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Dicro heart sounds good. That sounds like a plan. It's ja, Jan, Janya. I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm dyslexic and names sometimes just defud, befuddle me for some reason. I might have to run inside real quick to get some Dicro. I thought I brought some out here into the shed. Hold it just a second so I can reach a little bit better.
go. Hi, Bat. Told you it wouldn't take very long. Right? Right. Uh, let's do this. Die crow. Can you do something with two? Yes, I can. I will. Um, and yes, I'll continue on after I do the Dicro Hive. I'll do one thing with the tubing. Because you asked. How's that sound? Uh, Jody. No, wait. I've been saying that Jody and it's Jordy. Sorry, dyslexia. Like I said, I and it's not right, right here in front of me, so. Here we go. That'll make it a nice, sparkly, shiny part. This is the method that I use when I'm doing my glass blowing. Put a little bit more forward. There we go. Um, it is a way that I. I'm going to try to reach for a piece of. I'm not find what I'm looking for. High precision cutting instrument, wire cutter. So I want to cut one open in half. So, put that down. Keeping this about where I want it to be. There we go. That piece right there is what I'm looking for. And as you can see, I'm not warming it up or anything. I'm using it straight out of it. It's nice and cold. Film side up. And you'll see the film side goes all the way to the edge of the piece of dichro when you can see the corner edges of the uh, of the uh, glass and it's still side down but this is still side up and that's the side that you want up when I do what I do. Oh that might help if I instead of yelling at you. So you can hear me a little better, right? Right. <laughs> There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a press this solid rod and make a Maria the same size as, or try to do it to press that dichro into the bottom of the Maria. Now that's the first step. It's very simple and does very, very nice work. Again, you've got to Basically let it all melt and let it flow. You need that nice color to melt glass with. It really does help. There you go. Also, if you can't get a hold of um, if you can't get a hold of some didymium glasses, try some number three shades or number four or five, number five welding shades. It'll be dark, but you will be able to save your eyes and work with it. Okay, I just put that dichro into the bottom of that piece of glass. And I'm going to press it in a little bit more. I heated it up and pressed it in a little bit more. And now I'm going to find a red. If I can, oh, here's one. This should turn out interesting. And I'm only going to put this red on the bottom of, and this is a striking color that I'm using, on the bottom of where the dichro is. And that is because when I, I bring the edges around to the edge of the dichro afterward, and that sort of uh, defines the color underneath the dichro, or anyway... I only look for the reflective color for the dichro, not all of the color. Okay, let's sort of get that rounded in a little bit better. There we go. And what I'm looking for, and you think I... Oh, there it is. Good. I found it. My bigger pair of uh, uh, wire cutters. Not quite yet, but that's what I'm going to use them for. Cut off where the top is. Again, I heat and round off the edges of the glass to the rounded edges of where the dichro are, is, was, will be, whatever. 
I'm going to press in this Maria out a little bit more now to flare out the dichro. There we go. Now I'm going to nip off the top. Now I'm going to uh, cold weld it right there for now. Probably pull a little bit of that off, but not a lot. There we go. I try not to waste a lot of glass. I really don't. This is like two or three nights worth of work here. And you can see it's just a little, little ash can, not very deep. And I, I mean, actually, that's even from the other shed. So that's about a week or two worth of, uh, of uh, trash in my little cullet can there. Uh, so I try not to waste. I try to waste as little glass as possible. Um, just my style of doing things. Now, let me see if I can find my other very high precision cutting instrument handy. Uh, I don't have it, but this should do the trick. I usually reach for a butter knife, but this is like an, uh, a little instrument type tool that'll do about the same idea. You take the blade and basically do the bump to the heart. Press it in. There you go. If simple was simple, this would be simple. Now I'm going to uh, put a bale on the top. Actually, I'm going to bring out the point to the bottom of the heart first because I can. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Reshaping just slightly. What I do with that blade here? There it is. Now the bale, like I said I was going to do, but I decided to point the heart first. Now on the bale, I usually do a, like an I, uh, a, a question mark. See, I guess you could call me Doctor Who in that respect, right? Right. Pull it out. And I'm rolling it back and forth. I'm not just sort of... Remember, it's a three-dimensional object. You want to heat it up on all sides. See, there's the question mark. Huh? And then I heat it up in the middle and just sort of let it slump down. Until it comes together again. Blink. There you go. And, of course, I got it stuck to it. <laughs> Then I uh, sometimes ream it out, sometimes I don't. This time it's not so bad, but I'm going to ream it out anyway with the graphite rod that I have here. And then it's just a matter of heating up and pulling off the bottom. Nice cold weld here. I call it cold weld. It's called a cold seal. Excuse me. And as you heat this in the oven, the color will strike. See if I can strike the color a little bit here in the, in the, uh, you heat it up one time, it turns to this red color. You heat it up again and it turns to the clear color. And then you heat it to the, what's called the striking color. And then it comes out red again, which is pretty interesting. I like it. 
And you got one heart. Up for sale if anybody's interested. 12 bucks plus $3 shipping, that's uh, 15 Plus tax, license, service charges, and Clinton fees. No, not Clinton fees anymore. Never mind. <laughs> 15 even. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do something hollow. For Jordy Ray. Jordan Ray. That, I, I, I'm sorry, every time I come, I, I, I have to read a little differently. <laughs> That's the way life is. Hollow. Hello? 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 Let's start from scratch. We're going to do that. I did it yesterday, I can do it again today. Just do a nice little hollow something. Get that off of there, because that sort of broke off anyway. Come on, stop wasting my time. There we go. Tweeze that stuff off a little bit too. There we go. Now what I'm doing is basically a coil pot, but a little bit different than, than a normal coil pot. I sort of flare it out and wave it back and forth on itself, which you'll see. This is blue. Back and forth. I'm not going to make this very big, probably about a half an inch, quarter of an inch long. But when I finish, it's going to be a lot longer because I'm going to add some more clear glass to it to go over the whole thing. You'll see what I'm talking about. A little bit longer. And start bringing it in. That's not very big at all, but it is in, in some respects and it isn't, which will work. Oh, I have to get the blow hose on this thing really, really quick or I might collapse and lose it because I haven't got a... This is a tubing right here going all the way through this thing. Uh, when you know it, i got to make this side a little bit shorter too. It's got some crap going on. Snap that off. There we go. Get the blow hose out and ready. Of course it's tangled around 16 things and if I pull it in it's all going to break everything. Uh, snake, it, it, it bit me. At least I was aware of what the problem was before I started pulling it in. Right, right. Now, Blow hose. This is a swivel. It swivels and turns and you can turn it and keep turning and you don't have to worry about it knotting up your hose. Blow hose and swivel probably run you about 20 bucks, but it's worth it if you're doing a lot of hollow stuff. The mouthpiece is my own divine invention and that's out there on the internet as well. Okay. That's my number one watch video, is that blow, a mouthpiece for blow hose. I couldn't believe it when I did it, and I only it was only like a two-minute video. Whoops. This glass is stressing out really big time. Got it before it fell off on me, which is good. Now, to let you know that this is hollow, now, when you're blowing a bubble... You're not trying to blow a bubblegum bubble to make it really, really expand a lot. You're only trying to make it a little bit more than the outside air. Just a little bit, not a lot. Okay, now I'm going to add clear over the top of all of this. Okay, what are you saying? So are you just painting white tubing with 
blue rod? No. What I was doing was taking blue rod and making new tubing. He is layering the blue on the end of the... It's not a rod. This is a tubing all the way across. Um, I start with hollow to begin with to help out, but I, I have done it the hard way where I had to make my own hollow before I started using the tubing, so... But th yeah, this is on the end of a tubing right here, and I added all that blue to the end of that piece of tubing. And now I'm going to add some clear encasement over all of that blue. That gives it a little bit more strength, and the color, the clear trans, is uh, the, the clear is transparent, so the blue color will come through on it and look really nice. I can take something out of the oven that I did out like this yesterday, that was hollow. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do a sea turtle bead. A sea turtle bead. Maybe two of them. We'll see. Out of the same piece of tubing. Now. Matter heating it all up and I'm going to blow it out a little bit. We'll get it nice and smooth. Which is part of the deal. Here we go. Um, again, this is all new tubing from scratch. Very started from where I started. Okay. Now we're going to make the shell to this sea turtle. Ooh, this will help out a whole lot. Making the round shell. First, I'll make an, a little bit of a bubble going on. I did this yesterday on YouTube, uh, on no, on Twitch, and I did it a little bit different. I, I did the, the top last, but today I'm going to do the bottom last, which will work out a whole lot better and look a whole lot neater in the long run. It's keeping it, you're, I'm blowing it out, but I'm not blowing it to where I'm blowing it. Trying to keep the wall thickness even and the whole thing just blow up evenly, not all at once. And thin spots, thick spots, that's the hard part. I know it is. Been there, done that. Okay, that's probably going to be the size of the shell. There we go. Rounded it in quite nicely. Looking really good otherwise. There's the top of the sea turtle shell. And now to do the uh, two holes. All I need. One here. Now that looks like it, the, there's a hole there right now, but it's sealed off right at the moment. And that comes, that becomes important later on. I'm going to go ahead and put the other hole right here. Oops, that one got away from me.
Same thing, a hole there, but it's not there yet. What I'm going to do is go ahead and pull off the bottom. And right before I pull it off completely, I will actually, I can probably go ahead and pull it off completely and then pull out the, uh, well, actually. I got, went ahead and blowed them, blew them out anyway. Why? Because I could. Just the way I did through. I, just the way I'm doing things. And that has a point on it so we can flare it out with it. Let's use this one. Maybe this will work. Oh yeah, that's a nice big wide hole. The other one's not so big. Cold seal at the top here and pull that off. little bit of a problem but nothing terrible where I pulled it off it uh, decayed a little bit of the, the the holes that I'd already made but I can reseal it I can make it better see there we go Now you say, what are those two holes for? That's the pendant part of this this bead or hollow piece that I just did. Now I'm going to add the uh, fins and stuff to it. I don't need the mouthpiece anymore, so we'll get that out of there. Now, and I'm just going to add it to the outside of this hollow piece here, and it it's going to be a hollow pendant, basically. And this is a sea turtle, and right now, let's kick it up a notch, get some more flat gas going here. Make the fins, the head and the tail, and this baby is basically done. Here's one. Here's the other fin. This is the front fin on the right side. That was the back fin on the right side. Did one of these yesterday. It turned out really, really nice, I thought. So I decided to do another one. As you can see. And then after this little adventure, I'm going to call it quits for the night. And uh, you can catch me over on Twitch in a little while. If you would like to try to see me over there at, under Man of Glassfire. I think I put the... Uh, put it under my... If you go underneath this and look... Well, no, I haven't put it there yet, but it will be uh, under Show More. It'll show Man of Glass Fire at Twitch. The tail. No, that's not the tail. That's a fin. I got one more fin to go, and then I got the tail. Stupid me. Doing three things at once, right? Right. There we go. Now the tail. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. Turtles got blue eyes. Yeah, I know. Don't quit my glass blowing job. There we go. Tap that off. Now what I like to do with this thing is I stretch it slightly. It's a nice round disc for a shell. And now I'm going to heat it up a little bit and make it more oval shape. And that's just my own preference to doing this. And no, you don't have to if you don't want to. 
Oh, no problem. I that's what I'm here for, trying to help and you know do my best. Still learning, still growing, still trying to get subscribers and and also uh more followers and subscribers on on Twitch as well. So it's all a learning and growing experience. I look forward to always helping. Now we're going to just stretch this slightly from a circle to more of a, a, a oval shape. There we go. Just a little, not a lot. Don't want to overdo it. Don't want to underdo it. But I do like to add... Ah, that was stupid. I put the... Yeah, yeah okay. Fire polish that off again. Smooth it out again. And... He's got a hole right in front of the front fin and a hole right behind the back fin on that side. And that's how you would put it on a necklace piece. And it would lay quite nicely, I believe. I try to do hollow things a little bit more differently than just put it on a piece of, uh, with, uh, you know, a, a, a mandrel and then bead release. You do it this way, and you got a clean, pristine, clear bead. You don't have to worry about cleaning off any bead release and stuff as well. Okay. Number two. And as I said, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. Actually, let me go ahead and show you real quick some of the hollow pieces that I did yesterday. They're just over here in this oven, if I can reach for it. It's not turned on yet, so I can grab these out of here and show you uh, there's one of them maybe I put them further back or something nope there's one and where is the turtle there it is there we go I'll show you these and then I'll call it quits for the night This is the one that I did yesterday, very similar to the one I just did. And the hollow part goes, of course, this is going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, nope, that's not going to work either. Darn. Uh, cord, when you want some, never around, is it? <sighs> Three different places than what you're looking for it. Oh, there we go. Wang. Let's see if this is wide enough first. Of course it's not. Here's one of them. It's an elephant and it goes from the right in front of the head. I find, oh, this is working quite nicely. Here we go. There's the elephant one. It goes in front of the, you know, right behind the head and goes off behind the tail there. That's the elephant. Here's the dolphin one. Basically, the hole is right here and comes out right in front of the head. Let's see if we can get this to go through. It's sliding out. Oh, man, it's like it was made to come out the other end there. Ah. It's right there, right there. Uh, let's see if I can get this to bring it out for me nope that's not going to do it again nope not going to do it again not to save my life oh well but yeah it threads through here and goes up in the tail sorry but at least it gives you an idea and the turtle again it goes through this hole comes out the other hole there 
There we go. It is not cooperating today. That might help. I should have used fishing line or something to get it through. Oh well. That's what I can use. If I can find any of that real quick. Of course I can't. I had some fishing line. Not fishing line, but uh, thread that I've played with recently. And you think I'd have it handy? No. <gasps> ah, that might work it. Where is that? Oh, darn. Not going to be available to me. Ah, okay. Sorry, guys. At least you can see what I've done. Thank you for being there. Okay, here's also this. You can see that up nice and close. And once I heat it up, that whole striking color will come back to this color on the back of this heart, which will be really, really neat. And I'll do that and show that off tomorrow or the next day. That diacrook really does make something sparkling glitter, guys. And this turtle is still warm, but I bet you I could get the hole through that one really good. Let's do that. Because the hole is a lot bigger on this one than the other one. And it goes right through. And there you go. And that'll lay really nice on, on the end of a... Uh, as a pendant piece, uh, one of a kind, never be able to reproduce it ever again, exactly like that with the swirl colors going on and everything. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for being there, guys. And as always, Carpe Vitro. And if you have any requests, anything that you would like me to try to do for you as a tutorial, I will give it a thought and try to do it for you. It's not going, uh, you know, there sometimes I have to say no. I am working on one for somebody. He uh, wants me to try to help him fume with his Bravo. And I have a champion that I could set up and try to work with him and help him to see how he can fume with his Bravo by fuming with my champion. See if I can get some good fume going on. Um, I haven't really worked with the champion as much, but it's out there and can be used. So like everything else, I will try to do my best. Thank you for being there. Carpe vitro and enjoy your day. Now I got to get this 